Well, 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 new PvP season is finally upon us and it looks like we got a nice new map. We are back down in the Luxite Mines and this one is pretty damn big. For starters, I was able to get the flags up to level 3, so I'm going to start with 3 of these as well as a couple of traps to try and prevent people to come over on this side. But this is wood. I'm very, very afraid that if I put my units in here, either Barrel or anyone with the flame ring is just going to light everything on fire. But one thing I do really like is the deployment options. This is going to completely stop the Xavier one turn kill. That was kind of cancerous in the past couple of seasons. I don't think we're going to see that come back, at least not in this one. But I am a little bit afraid of the um, holes in here. Something like a Momo starting from here using the movement skill could potentially pull one or two units into these crevices, either here or here. So I don't know. I'm going to start with this sort of defense, then I will likely try and slot in a sleep tower or two. We'll see. This season, crossfire, the environment decreases damage dealt by 20% for all characters. A little bit weird considering that we've got Auguste coming out in a couple of days. When casting a class skill that consumes 3 energy or above, reduces the energy consumption by 1 and cooldown by 1. <laughs> this might be a little bit too strong. So what are class skills? I'm going to guess it's the legendaries. These are not categorized as class skills, but they are unique skills for that specific unit. So like, come on everybody, goes down to a 2 cost. Anti-espionage goes down to a 3 cost. Same goes for Gale Spin, same goes for Gale Below, as well as Wipeout. Yeah, 3 cost Wipeout is going to be available basically every single turn. <laughs> Not to mention Boom. It's going to be a lot easier for Barrel to cast Boom. But yeah, team-wise, either this or I'm just going to bring Barrel back. Uh, we've got two assassins down here. We can start with these two. Top side, I'm not too worried about. I guess I can just leave Safia to take care of the top side. Wait for them to come to us. Or just try and take out the... Take out Akambe first. Yeah, let's do something like this and wait for them to come to us. Tactics, uh, likely movement, movement, and invincible hero. Oh, okay, yeah, the train actually runs. And starts on turn one already. So let's start with this swap, just in case Cole gets some weird ideas. And here we go with the first one. Uh, she can move three. She can come up to here to attack us over there. We might take one AoE next turn, but that should be the only one. So move and shadow split. Wipe out, nice and dodged. On the NPC, really? Shouldn't this always prioritize the, the single target? <laughs> That's one way to lose Safia. Oh, and the train deals a lot of damage, 7k, that's... that's quite high. Well, this one moves as number 8, I guess they can enjoy the first nuke. Oh, and now she comes in with a single target skill. Oh, 
So let's take down barrel first. Let's not give her a chance to move. And this one should be basically done. Okay, number two. Again, something similar. They're going to move first. They're not going to reach. We should be fine down here. And take these two out first. Then add that, because I don't want the magic defense down. Uh, unless I can just avoid her. Start straight from the top. Take down Dandelion first. The map is way too large to not run movement tactics here. And with the minus one energy and the little health with cooldowns, we shouldn't need the extra energy either. Okay, Assault and Blast, that's nice. She can come over here with a Shadowless Blade. Dodges everything outside the OE. But Sandy, this doesn't counter, even though she does dodge a few of those, a a few of those attacks. Getting Gleam, and she's sitting on the rail track. Honestly, kind of insane how this trap works now. The very the, the defense has a trap on their side. But yeah, now that that train might be making things a bit too easy. Let's not risk it, just in case this doesn't die. It does, that's nice. But yeah, there's only the healer left and we are done for the second fight too. But yeah, now if things stand like this... I think some extra pushes, some extra pulls might also be really, really nice. Because you can try and force enemy units onto the tracks whenever that happens. I get the feeling the train doesn't deal its own damage. The train actually just deals 100% HP damage. One shots and that's it. The man cart departs from here dealing 100% HP as damage to all the targets along the path. Okay, I don't think I want to jump around here. So just starting with invulnerable. Uh, either here or maybe bring her here, see if we can bait Rewia on top of the track. That's one mushroom. That's two units. Ah, uh, yeah, my Rewia moves first, but his Rewia is going to likely try and one shot her rather than just kick her away. But yeah, this is three units dead on turn one. <laughs> okay, invulnerability. And standby. Uh, you know what? Absolutely not. I'm coming down for his Revia. Okay, this might be the hardest thing to do now. Trying to set your defense so that your units don't get run over. Fantastic. <laughs> that is four. I don't even want to attack. Yeah, no, let's take Ruby out. As for you, it doesn't even matter. Okay, 
This might be the best PvP map yet. And four. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> the clean slate in one turn. Do I actually want to leave my defenses like this, knowing that this one shots anyone who stands on it? Because I still do want them a little bit spread out to try and avoid big nukes or big AoEs. But at the same time, this track really, really scares me. We need to wait a little bit longer to get this one to level 3 and unlock the Hypnosis Towers as well as the Assembly Beacon. But I do get the feeling I will want to try Assembly Beacon, everyone just huddling together near this thing. So that we can somehow try and avoid getting crushed by the minecart. So, let me know what you guys think of the new PvP map. And as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you around soon. Ciao! Oh,